In this question, it is given that the stresses on two perpendicular planes through a point in a body are 160 megapascal and 100 megapascal, both compressive, along with a shear stress of 80 megapascal. Determine the normal and the shear stress on a plane inclined at 30 degree to the plane of 160 megapascal stress. Find also the resultant stress and its direction. So in this question, it is given that 160 megapascal and 100 megapascal stresses are there normal stresses both compressive compressive nature is given and a shear stress is given 80 megapascal we have to find out the normal stress and shear stress at an inclined of 30 degree to 160 megapascal stress also we have to find the resultant stress and its direction so this is the same question we have solved using analytical method now we are going to solve this question using graphical method or Mohr circle method. So let us solve this problem. We have already solved few numericals uh, based on analytical methods and we have used these formulas for solving the numericals. Same numericals you want to solve using graphical method or Mohr circle method. In Mohr circle, you already know that center of the Mohr circle is given by this equation sigma x plus sigma y 2 comma 0. This is the coordinate of the center of the circle and this is the radius of the circle in the term which is under the root. So by finding the center and radius of the circle, we will draw the Mohr circle and using that Mohr circle and given quantities, we will find out the required quantities which we have to find out. So we have solved this numerical using analytical method in which the stress was given in x direction as 160 megapascal compressive in y direction stress was 100 megapascal compressive and shear stress was minus 18 megapascal we have taken it negative and our aim is to find out the normal stress and shear stress at an angle 30 degree to this 160 megapascal and also the resultant stress because these are perpendicular to each other they will be making a resultant so the resultant of that stress and the inclination of this resultant with respect to the normal. This thing we have to find out using Mohr circle. So first of all, let us draw the stress element for this. So this is our stress element. This is the stress element. Here, this is our, this is compressive basically, compressive uh, sigma x. Here sigma y is also compressive, sigma y compressive and tau is taking negative. So this is the negative sign convention for us. This is the negative sign convention for shear stress we are using. So this is the stress condition, right? And we want to find out at certain angle theta, this is 30 degree, given is 30 degree to this. 160 megapascal 30 degree to this 160 megapascal theta here uh, the, uh, angle is 30 degree right so this is our stress condition so at this phase at this phase the stress condition is sigma x tau our uh, x coordinate is sigma x and y coordinate is, it, uh, is tau right in case of Mohr circle so sigma x tau we will denote this uh, this condition by point sigma x and tau another point will be denoted by sigma y and tau and by uh, locating the points we will find out the other conditions but, but first we want to draw the circle using center and radius of the Mohr circle what is center center of the Mohr circle center center is given by sigma x plus sigma y by 2 and comma 0 so center is given by center that is equal to sigma x minus 160 minus 100 by 2 and we are taking only uh, x axis because uh, y axis is 0 so and that will be equal to minus 130 megapascal this is our center and radius radius our is this value radius 
and that will be equal to under the root sigma x minus sigma y sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau square tau is minus 80 square solve it uh, by using calculator and you will get the value of uh, radius as uh, 85.4 uh, radius will come out to be 85.4 megapascal. This will be the radius, right? So, this is our required values which we want to uh, use for making the Mohr circle. Now, finding the center and radius, now we can use the Mohr circle, uh, draw the Mohr circle. Uh, let us draw the Mohr circle. Because the stress element is negative, we are taking this side as negative. So, this is our y axis which is shear stress axis and this is our x axis which is our normal stress axis. So, here it is sigma n positive in this direction and shear stress we are taking positive in this downward direction. So, shear stress is in downward direction and normal stress in, in this direction, right. And we want to find out, uh, we want to locate the center first, center is minus 130 mega Pascal. You can choose any scale for this, uh, you can choose scale so that you can draw the diagram. You will be needing uh, your scale, your compass, pencil, protractor and so on, so that you can uh, draw the circle. So scale you can use, any scale you can use, uh, like uh, 130 mega Pascal, you can uh, maybe equivalent to uh, 130 mm. So, this scale you can use whatever scale you want to use, you can use here. So, scale can be used is 130 mega Pascal is equal to 130 mm or whatever scale you want to use, right? Uh, 130 mm means 13 centimeters. So, you can use a bigger scale, otherwise, you can make a shorter scale also if you want to use. So, this scale can be used or any scale can be used, right? And draw the Mohr circle. So, suppose this is our, uh, this, uh, because this is uh, compressive in nature, positive we are taking here, so negative will be in this direction, this is our origin and we have to take the negative in this direction. So, center is minus 130 mega Pascal. So, take minus 130 in this direction and suppose this is our uh, scale, according to scale, suppose 13 centimeter or whatever it is, this is the 130 mega Pascal. So, this is our center which is equal to 130 mega Pascal. So, this distance is basically 130 mega Pascal. This distance, right? And the radius is 85.4 mega Pascal. So, uh, open the protractor and uh, sorry, your compass and uh, uh, draw the circle. So, you can draw the circle like this and suppose this is the circle which you have obtained using the compass. Now you have obtained the circle, you have made the circle and the radius is 85.4 mega Pascal, right? So this is the radius and open it and make it a circle. Now draw the points. Which points we have to draw? First is uh, sigma x and tau, sigma x and tau combination. So, 1.1 1 .1 is, point 0.1 is, suppose this point is A, name it A. So, point A will be equal to sigma x and tau, sigma x and tau, this combination and make a point. Another point will be sigma y and tau, this, this point, sigma y and tau. So, locate these points. So, sigma x is minus 160 and tau is minus 80. We are taking minus upward. So, uh, choose the uh, normal axis here and go till the you get the minus 60 uh, value or 16 centimeter if you are using uh, 160 equivalent to 160 mm. So, this will be suppose this is the point here uh, which is equal to minus 160 mega Pascal, right. So, this is OD, suppose this is OD, O2D is 160 mega Pascal. 
so o d o to d is o to d is 160 mega pascal so this is our uh, sigma x basically sigma x which is 160 mega pascal right this is o d now 80 mega pascal because shear stress is also required in y axis so 80 mega pascal so open the uh, your uh, uh, scale and then uh, 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 drop a vertical vertical line on this till the you reach the circumference of the circle so you will get 80 mm directly and you will reach directly to this point a so this will be definitely 80 mega pascal right because all the stress conditions are lying on this circle already or because we have drawn the circle in this way that the stress condition are lying on this circle only so you, you have to just draw the vertical line and reach point a so you have reached now the point a and ad ad is nothing but this this tau so ad is equal to tau which is given by minus 80 minus 80 mega pascal right now draw the another point this b point sigma y and tau sigma y and tau this condition another plane condition sigma y is 100 minus 100 so uh, move from o till you reach the minus 100 point suppose this is your minus 100 point e suppose so o e is minus 100 so o e is sigma y which is equal to minus 100 mega pascal right and previously we have done oc oc so oc we have already done oc was the center uh, which was given by 130 mega pascal so this was 1 minus 130 mega pascal which we have already drawn right huh. so oe we have found out now uh, drop a vertical line till you reach the circumference circumference of the circle and you will get the b point and this distance eb will be equivalent to the equal to the shear stress in positive direction because when he, here the shear stress is negative there will be complementary positive shear stress on this direction on the, on this plane sigma y plane so the, here that's why we are taking downward direction because downward is our positive direction so eb is positive right so eb is basically again tau but now it is positive so this is 80 mega pascal right now this is our reference line this is our reference line this is the reference line from which we have to take all the stress other conditions on oblique sections so this we have achieved this line we have achieved right now from this plane this plane at 30 degree to 160 mega pascal plane this is our 160 mega pascal plane this one this ac ac is a 160 mega pascal plane from here we have to take 30 degree now you know in mohr circle if the actually the angle is 30 degree in mohr circle it will be double the angle so it will be 60 degree so take 60 degree anti clockwise we are taking uh, the anti clockwise direction so you can take anti uh, anti clockwise or you are taking if you are taking it is clockwise you can use clockwise also if you are taking the this reference this is actually clockwise this is clockwise 30 degree so you have to move clockwise clockwise you have to move 60 degree because this is our, it is our reference line so this will be clockwise so move 60 degree clockwise and you will reach to the point where we have to find out these conditions right so so find out uh, the other points you will get 60 degree clockwise so move 60 degree clockwise suppose this is our 60 degree clockwise this point and this line is 60 degree clockwise suppose this is clockwise 60 degree it seems some higher but actually it is 60 degree uh, in in my uh, in drawing my scale uh, it may be not properly visible 60 degree but it is 60 degree right when you draw you will get the real picture so this is 60 degree so 60 degree uh, line we have uh, achieved and this is suppose 
condition is F. And this line, this line we have to point out the normal stresses. Normal stresses at these points we have to find out, right? So what are the normal stresses at these points? Isn't it? So how to find out? Fg. Uh, drop a drop a vertical line in perpendicular on this point and reach at this point f suppose f dash so o f dash o f dash will be the uh, that uh, normal stress sigma n which we want to find out right so this will be the normal stress o f dash right and f f dash will, will be the shear stress f f dash will be the shear stress sigma t which we want to obtain right so find out O f dash and f f dash which is at 60 degree to our reference plane and you will get the answer right sigma n and sigma t so try to find out uh, now you find out uh, o f dash o f dash which is the required uh, normal stress o f dash so o f dash is our sigma n basically use your scale and find out take your time and find out you will get minus 75.7 .7, which we have already discussed in the analytical method approximately this value you will get because certain errors may be there in graphical method but approximately this value you will get uh, by using the scale and this is the answer this is one of the answer so it's so easy that directly you have achieved your target for finding the sigma n and sigma t just by measuring o f dash here and f f dash will be giving the sigma t the shear stress f f dash so measure the f f dash the shear stress sigma t and you will get the answer right so it will be uh, plus minus 66 mega pascal here it is also g g dash if you draw this g g dash so again g g dash will be give the same value sigma t so this will be the value of shear stress right so this is our shear stress right now what else is required sigma r resultant resultant of sigma n and sigma t the resultant now here we know that this is our sigma t o of o, 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 o of of the f dash this is our sigma t and the sigma n this is our sigma n and this is our sigma t f f dash f dash f dash is sigma sigma t and these are perpendicular to each other sigma t sigma n so resultant will be the uh, when we uh, when we meet the point o and f so OF will give the resultant stress. So this will be sigma R because this is our sigma N and this is our sigma T. So sigma T is FF dash, OF dash, OF dash is sigma N. The resultant will be this. This will be the resultant, right? So find out the resultant. This will be also be equal to we have analytically found out sigma N square plus sigma T, T square. Now directly you can measure OF and find out the resultant. So resultant will be OF. This will be equal to our resultant of sigma n and sigma t, right? And it will come out to be 100.4 mega Pascal. So this is one more answer. What else? Phi. The angle between sigma n and sigma r. So this is the angle. This is the angle. Use your protractor. And then find out the angle. Angle can be find out easily by through using the D protractor and so on. So um, measure the angle and you will get the answer. So it will be 41.4 degrees degree. So it will be 41.4 degrees. So find out the answer using graphical method. So this is how we solve the problem. Uh, very simplified in a very simplified manner using the graphical method or more circle method so once again if i summarize uh, we are using the graphical method or more circle method to solve the problem 
sigma x, sigma y and tau is given to us. We have drawn the stress element using this at sigma x and tau is at this plane and it will make a point on the circle. This condition will make a point on the circle because on the circle uh, we are taking the x axis as the normal axis and shear stress as the y axis. So it will be this point will be on the uh, normal axis uh, x axis and this will be point on the shear axis and these two x comma y will give the a point like suppose this is a point. So this is our a point. Now b point is the sigma y and tau combination this coordinate uh, normal stress and shear stress. So sigma y and tau this will be b point. So two points we have to locate on the circle. Before that we have to draw the circle using the center and radius. So center is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 into comma 0. Radius is this thing. So first of all we have calculated the numerically the value of sigma x and uh, center and radius. So this is our center which is minus 130 megapascal and radius is 85.4 megapascal. Now you have to define a scale scale of uh, using the values. What is that scale? Uh, we have taken 130 megapascal e equal to 130 mm. Right? So uh, use this scale or whatever scale you want to use you can use that. Now take 130 megapascal uh, and draw uh, a locate a point C. So uh, we have drawn the x axis and y axis and located point C which is at this distance which is given by 130 megapascal. So this distance OC OC is 1 minus 130 megapascal this this you have to locate first you have to locate it now you uh, open your compass and draw a circle compass should be open equivalent to the radius of this 85.4 megapascal whatever scale you are using and draw the circle we have drawn the circle now reference line reference line a a c b is our reference line right so a c b is our reference line. So draw, we have to draw the reference line. For that we need A point and B point. A point can be located using sigma x and tau. So we have located this. So sigma x is OD. Take the OD and tau is AD. So locate the point. And sigma y and tau will give the B point. So sigma y is OE is sigma y and EB is tau and locate the and draw the line AB, ACB. So this is our reference line. Now to this reference line we need 30 degree to 160 megapascal. So this was our 160 megapascal line this. So we have taken clockwise because we here this is our reference line uh, plane and we are going clockwise to this plane right where we want to find out the stress condition sigma n and tau sigma n and sigma t. Here we want to find out sigma n and sigma t at 30 degree to this plane. So to this plane we are moving clockwise. So here also you move, move clockwise. You move clockwise and you go reach the uh, this line. This line and draw a line. This line is the line where these stresses are acting. So reach to the uh, circumference of the circle you will get f point and g point. One of the normal is at f point, one of the normal is at g point and shear stress is this distance. Drop, drop a perpendicular on this x axis and you will get the f dash point and this o f dash will give the normal stress sigma n and this will give the shear stress sigma t because on this axis there is normal stress on this axis there is shear stress. So you have got sigma n and sigma t right. Another normal stress is this o g dash o g dash is another normal stress right sigma n 2 right. So here uh, we can write O F dash is basically have written here O F dash is sigma n 7 minus 75.7 megapascal and F dash is sigma t plus minus 66 megapascal. So and we can we have to find out the resultant resultant. Now this is sigma t this is sigma n you can find out the resultant sigma r. So resultant you measure the O F value O F and you will get the resultant and we have to find out the phi phi. Uh, phi is the angle, angle between normal and resultant. Measure this using D protractor and you will get the phi value. And this phi is given by, phi is given by this 41.4 degrees and you will get the all the answer using Mohr circle.